Hiya! Well, welcome back to Classic Hits Gaming, your home of 80s, 90s and noughties gaming. The three greatest decades of the gaming industry. In this live stream, it is my first session of Pac-Man. Sit back, relax, but as always, and more importantly, enjoy the live stream. It doesn't get any more classic than Pac-Man. Uh, this uh, game was originally released back in 1980 on the arcade and it would become absolutely legendary. So it is absolutely fantastic to continue classic hits gaming with Pac-Man. So just give me a moment um, as I share the live stream and change the thumbnail of the live stream. I will not be long. So uh, the reason I've called uh, this live stream uh, session one of Pac-Man is because Pac-Man is um, not like Final Fantasy VII or Resident Evil 3 Nemesis in the way that it's, 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 um, it's not particularly story driven. Um, so it doesn't really need parts. Um, so I thought the best uh, word to use would be uh, sessions. So I will be having uh, many sessions of uh, Pac-Man, uh, you know, for, for maybe a week or two or something like that uh, before I move on to the next game on Classic Hits Gaming. So uh, let me just change the thumbnail of the live stream and... Uh, I will be right back. Um, here we go. Thumbnail changed. So yeah, it doesn't get any more eighties or classic. Uh, then Pac-Man. So, you know, th this is a game uh, that was uh, simple, fun, and addictive. Um, I say simple. I mean, the gameplay is simple, uh, but it is, uh, it is very difficult to master this game. Um, but yeah, simple and fun. Okay, so um, in Pac-Man, uh, in case anyone doesn't know uh, what Pac-Man is all about, it's an action maze game where Pac-Man, the main character, uh, needs to get through various uh, mazes by um, eating all of the dots and avoiding the, the four colored um, ghosts to progress to the next maze. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much your objective when it comes to Pac-Man, and as a, that's literally it. That's that's the gameplay right there. That's all you need to know. Um, you know, you know, um, classic arcade games in the '80s like Pac-Man. You know, had such simplistic um, gameplay, simplistic objectives, but really fun and really addictive. Um, so, with that said, I think it's time I actually played Pac-Man. Listen to that. That's the sound of the 80s right there. That's the sound of classic gaming right there. Yeah. 
So when you get like the special dots, the, the flashing dots, um, Pac-Man becomes pretty much invincible. And he, instead of actually running away from the ghosts, he can eat them. So as you can see, um, simplistic gameplay, easy to pick up and play, but very difficult to master. Even on the first maze. It is time for some trivia. I love to bring some trivia to Classic Kids Gaming whenever I'm streaming a classic game. So, did you know that Pac-Man was originally called Puck-Man in Japan? Uh, It has something to do with um, a Japanese phrase meaning gobble up. And I'll be sharing uh, one piece of trivia <laughs> uh, in each uh, Pac Man session. I know I'm kind of stingy with the trivia, but you know, I have to um, space out the live streams so <laughs> stay tuned for more uh, trivia on pac-man uh, on each session i don't even know if you do that go from one side of the screen to the other side and um, evidently i haven't played a lot of pac-man I think I've probably played more Pac-Man um, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, like playing, playing as Pac-Man, than actually playing Pac-Man, if you know what I mean.
Yes, I made it to the second maze. You could imagine the amount of money that went into arcade cabinets in the 80s when this game released in arcades. Oh my god. So apart from making it to the next maze, um, high score, you know, your, your score, your high score um, was um, a massive part of Pac-Man um, and other arcade games that would have released in the, in the 80s. You know, you would go to the arcade, uh, maybe on your own or with your friends, and um, you'd all try to get um, a high score. Pac Man, um, you know, input your name, and you know, like Johnny has the high score or whatever. Um, and yeah, your, your friends would try to beat your high score. Um, I suppose, um, getting, um, I suppose, like kids nowadays, um, getting like um, uh, uh, a victory royale, um, in Fortnite, and you know, their amount of wins would be like the equivalent of a, of a high score uh, in the year 2024. Uh, but um, yeah, back in the 80s, it was about, you know, going to the arcades and putting your coins into the arcade cabinets and playing games like Pac-Man and, uh, you know, seeing who can get the highest score uh, among you and your friends. Oh! <laughs> 
Waka waka. It's got a trophy. Oh. Eat the strawberry that appears after eating a set number of packed dots in round two. So as you can see, there's no real story to Pac-Man. There's no deep, complex uh, objective or objectives to Pac-Man. It's a um, simple, fun and addictive gameplay. Again, the objective to Pac-Man is to eat all the dots and avoid the four colored ghosts but of course when you eat the special dot the, the blinking glowing dot you become invincible and you can eat the ghosts that's your objective that's what's happening in pac-man that's what pac-man is all about and that's what arcade games were all about um so simple um straightforward gameplay um nothing too complex Fun, addictive, but as I mentioned, very tough to master. Isn't that right, Power Slave, my good friend? Pac-Man, waka waka. <laughs> Classic Hits Gaming continues with Pac-Man. Um, literally, it does not get any more classic than Pac-Man. You know, it doesn't get any more 80s than Pac-Man as well. I mean, I think anyone and everyone knows, you know, what and who pac-man is so you know it's just it's great to be able to uh, continue classic hits gaming by streaming pac-man how are you doing my friend how is everything with you welcome to the live stream session one i'm calling um my pac-man live streams sessions as opposed to part one two three four etc because i just feel like um yeah if I put them in parts, it doesn't really make any sense, you know, because um, it's not that kind of a game. It's not like Final Fantasy VII, where, like, you know, part one, I could be in Midgear, and part two, I could be in, um, you know, wherever, different tongue or whatever else, different parts of the story, uh, you know, Shinra headquarters or whatever else, um, or in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, you know, part one, I could be in the RPD, and part two, I could be in the cable car. I just feel like, you know, Pac-Man is a pickup and play you know arcade game simple um straightforward so you know it's best to call them sessions um i've lost my live stream on my phone where's it going it's here it's back So yeah, easy to play, difficult to master, as you can see. A lot of games back in the 80s, you know, whether they were released on arcade uh, or on, on home console, were, were, were like this, you know, that they, they had pretty... Um, standard straightforward simple gameplay that was you know so easy to pick up and play but very difficult to master you know and i think that's what made it that that's 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 really what made um these games so addictive you know you, you kept coming back because you wanted to get that high score 
um, that I mentioned earlier, you know. Um, and again, I think I think the modern day equivalent to a high score. One of the examples I would give anyway is getting a victory royale in in, in battle royale games like Fortnite. You know, that's what kids want to do nowadays. They want to get as many victory royales, as many wins as, as they possibly can, um, or you know, or kills in in, in, in FPS games. Um, you know, that's the equivalent of a high score in, uh, in 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 modern gaming. Um, so yeah, I mean, simple to pick up and play, but difficult to master is what made these games uh, very, very um, addictive. Because as you can see, they're pretty simple, you know, pretty simple looking games, simple playing games, you know, so, you know, I had to have something to, to bring people back. And um, that was the high score, you know, they want to go back and get a high score in these games. Uh, Pac-Man was a very bare bones game, but that's how gaming was. Yeah, it's bare bones. It's absolutely bare bones. It's very straightforward. You're eating dots, avoiding ghosts, going to the next maze. The mazes don't even look that different from each other. Very, very bare bones. Very simplistic. Very straightforward. But a lot of games in the 80s, particularly arcade games uh, like Pac-Man, were like that. Um, and the appeal to the game was the addictive nature to these games. Um, I think games like Space Invaders, you know, literally like, it was an epidemic. I remember reading about this in a retro game magazine years back of how like, Space Invaders became this epidemic because so many kids were addicted to the game. And again, the modern day equivalent to that would be Fortnite. Because um, that, to this day, still remains somewhat of an epidemic, you know, every now and again people, you know, start talking about Fortnite and how addictive it is for, for children and other games like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, bare bones, but very, very addictive. Um, and, um, and, and, and fun. People just wanted to get to the next maze and get a high score. But yeah, high score is the... I suppose what really holds these these games uh, together. It's 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 what people. It's why people play these play these games uh, was to get a high score. That's what it was. Coco North. We are continuing classic hits gaming. With Pac-Man, does it get any more classic than Pac-Man, my friend? I don't think so. Um, we're going back to the 80s. You know, this game originally released in the arcades in the 80s. Great to have you in the live stream, as always. How are you keeping? Hope that you enjoy the live stream. Pac-Man is great fun. High score gaming was the addiction. Exactly, exactly. That's what I've been... Uh, um, um, that's that's yeah that's the point i have been making i'm loving the variety to be thank you so much for that that means a lot man thank you thank you man it's great to be able to you know to um to go to the the 90s and go to the 80s and and uh you know yeah bring a bit of a variety to classic hits gaming thank you for that feedback man it's much much appreciated and you're yeah you're exactly man you're you're right man I mean you know <laughs> I suppose like this is where like gaming became addictive you know like addictive gaming isn't something that just happened overnight you know people talked about Fortnite you know being you know being the cause of video game addiction no 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 video game addiction man was back in the arcades when 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 gamers you know would go into the arcades with their friends. And they would try to, you know, get a high score in games like Pac-Man, so, yeah. So 
know what's so cool? When you get that strawberry, the, the light bar on the PS5 controller flashes multiple colors. That is actually a fantastic use of the light bar. And it's, it's Pac-Man that takes advantage of the, the light on the controller. That's actually crazy. I played like, I have played like triple A blockbuster games on PS5, like Spider-Man 2, and it hardly used the, the light bar. Here I am playing Pac-Man, an 80s, 90 game, and it actually uses the, the light bar. It's so cool. I keep forgetting you can actually go from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. That really helps. Oh god. And in, in each sesh, uh, session of uh, Pac-Man, as I mentioned earlier, I will uh, deliver some trivia. Um, so the first piece of trivia that I shared um, in, 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 in this uh, first session is that uh, Pac-Man was originally called Puck-Man in Japan because apparently um, it was connected to a, a Japanese phrase that made gobble up, which makes perfect sense because your main character Pac-Man is gobbling up these dots. Um, but I'll be sharing trivia, I'll also be kind of like discussing, as I've been already discussing, just kind of what makes this game so um, significant, um, what makes this game so... Um, uh, you know, iconic and, and you know how, with the, the mark that it left on the industry. I, I, I suppose up until now I've been talking about like I suppose like the the um, the, the the simplistic um, um, I suppose design um, of the game and its simplistic gameplay. I mean, everything about this game is so simplistic: simplistic visuals and simplistic gameplay and simplistic objective but um, very, very tough to master. Um, this is not an easy game by any means. And, um, you know, the, the, the high score feature is just something that really made um, the game addictive. So gamers kept coming back, coming back, coming back to get that high score, to beat their friend's high score, to have brownie points, as they say, you know, to have one up on their friends. Um, so I've been talking about that And I think because of the just the, it's because of the simplicity, it just yeah, simple. It just takes us back to a time where gaming was simple. Um, you know, you go into your arcade, you would throw in a coin, and you'd you'd be playing the game right away. Um, so simplistic times. the originals uh, pay to play with Pac-Man on our yeah arcade gaming was the OG pay to play because you literally had to pay to play but then again I suppose when you stop and think of it we're still paying to play we all have to pay to play unless we're playing um, free to play uh, live service games like Fortnite uh, like if you want to buy a game you have to pay for it, but I know what you're saying. It's it's still, um, I like I, I like that though. Nonetheless, I like what you're saying because because I suppose what makes it different is at least when you pay for a game. Um, nowadays, 
um, you, you have that game with you at all times. You pay your set price and you have that game. Now, we won't go into microtransactions and DLCs and all that kind of shit because I don't need to press myself and that's not what Classic Kids Gaming is about. Um, Classic Kids Gaming is the vaccine to the, the, the blight that is uh, modern gaming, okay? But what I will say is because of how addictive arcade games in the 80s like Pac-Man were and because we all wanted to get the high score and beat our friends high score we kept coming back and back and back and because of how difficult it was to master this game we put so many coins into the arcade so you can imagine how much money people actually spent like let's say at the end of the month let's say we all went to the arcade played Pac-Man for a whole month trying to get a high score imagine how much money we put into the arcade machine you know? So you're actually right though. It was the original pay to play, yeah. Uh, Johnny will be bringing out the Master System Mortal Kombat soon. Um, who knows what's next for Classic Hits Gaming? Who knows? Um, no, but I completely. No, you actually have a good point though, because we, we actually end up paying a lot of money you know, to play these arcade games. You know, if we die, like if we die in uh, in a modern game, you know, no matter what the game is, if we die, boom, just start over, boom, start over, boom, start over. Like when you play an arcade game, you give whatever how much money you put into the arcade. If you die, you have to put more money in. Every time you die, you have to put more money in. You know, so every time that we we got a game game over screen in Pac Man in the arcade, we had to put more money into the arcade. You know, so there was a lot of money put into Pac Man um, back in the day. So, do you remember, what's your highest score, in, what is everyone's highest score on Pac-Man? Let me know, if you can remember. I love the sound of uh, classic games like really classic games arcade games i just actually love the sound effects like i love walking into an arcade well i suppose like arcade gaming nowadays is just it's it's pretty much on its knees isn't it but i suppose like back in the well i, I well i was born in 1988 so i was like <laughs> like i mean i didn't really have much like of the 90s to live really you know um, so I kind of grew up in the 90s, but even in the 90s when you're going to an arcade, this is what you, what you heard, you know? The sound of excitement, the sound of, um, of, of, of challenge. Um, yeah man, 50 pence here, years ago. I remember well, 50 pence, I think, yeah, 50 pence was like the highest, I think, or was like a pound might have been the highest, around that, oh Christ, I never remember that, <laughs> I'm really taking you back, aren't I, we should do a challenge thing, man, I'll get it on Xbox and give you, that's actually, I like that idea, actually, I like that idea, let's do it, we we done it uh, with Flappy Bird, if you, oh my God, I remember that, I remember that, actually, games like Flappy Bird actually kind of brought back the the days of like getting a high score because yeah we were all trying to get a high score in Flappy Bird to be more interested in actually eating the ghosts than actually eating the the dots. I think that's where I'm going wrong. Or they get so fast towards the end.
So Classic Kids Gaming kicked off with two 90s games, Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. So I wanted to, this time, go back to the 80s. A lot of people would say that the 80s were actually like the birth of, of gaming um, as we know it today. I mean, I completely respect my fellow gamers and friends who grew up in the 70s. You know, I completely respect my, my Atari playing friends. But um, there was a thing called a video game crash. <laughs> and it happened for a reason. I'll just say that. So the 80s for a lot of people were the, again, what the, the, what was the birth of gaming as we know it um, today. So I had to go back to the 80s and I couldn't think of a better game, you know, from the 80s um, to really um, to really signify what classic it's gaming is all about than, than Pac-Man, you know. There has to be Pac-Man. Um, is Mrs. Pac-Man on this game too? I, not in the original, no, I think she had her own game as far as I know. I was playing this in a museum in Leeds two years ago, but also played uh, one of my favorite NES games, Gauntlet. That's, I mean, the fact that this game is actually in like a museum, you know, just goes to show just how classic this game is and, and how, um, you know, how much of it. the stream and uh, it froze. Oh, I'm not too sure what happened there. Sorry about that. Is it okay now? <laughs> yeah, Pac-Man eating my broadband. All those dots are like... My, um... The actual, like, the, the, the fiber cable for my broadband. Yeah. Oh, I'm back again. Good, good, good. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I have one dot left. So as I mentioned, I was born in 1988. So I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't even a thought <laughs> in 1980. Um, so I wasn't in the arcades playing Pac-Man, trying to get a high score. Um, so I'm, I'm quite like, I'm not really that familiar with, you know, the original Pac-Man. I know who Pac-Man is. I know the game. Um, just not very familiar with actually playing the game. As I mentioned earlier, I've probably played more as Pac-Man in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate than I actually did of, of playing the game Pac-Man. Because um, I was, I grew up in the 90s, you see, you know, I'm more of a 90s gamer than an 80s gamer. Um, but, you know, like, even playing this game, you know, right now, um, I suppose, like, I, I did technically play Pac-Man, like, you know, over the years, but I, as I said, I wasn't around when it first released in the arcades. But um, I can just already like just sense just how addictive, the addictive nature to Pac-Man. I really want to, not so much get a high score because I, I'm not playing the game socially right now, um, but just to progress to the next maze. It's just, I mean, I think games that have simplistic gameplay that is difficult to master, I just think they, they make for the most addictive games because you keep coming back to try to make it to the next uh, maze. 
Mr. Chad, I thought he would love classic gaming. Hope he as well haven't uh, seen him here. Oh, he was on, um, I think he was on my, one of my Resident Evil 3 Nemesis live streams. He was definitely on one of my Final Fantasy 7 live streams. Oh, Chad is good. Chad is good. I'll tell you, you're asking for him. I was uh, conceived uh, on, on Valentine's 83. <laughs> That's gas. I mean, if I was playing this on the arcade, I would, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be because I wouldn't have any coins left with the amount of times that I've gotten the game over screen. Um, I would be, I would bankrupt my parents. Oh my days. There wouldn't be any coins left. Play this on arcade, that screen be smashed by now. That too, that too, that too. <laughs> My game of rage would kick in. Did they throw me out of the arcade? Johnny, you will be sleeping with these noises in your head tonight. I know, yeah. Wacko, 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 do, 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 do. Beep, 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 beep. The songs of the 80s. So fast. So fast. Better head to bed, man. I'll pop on again tomorrow. Uh, whatever you're playing again, Zach and Wiki. Oh, honestly, man, Zach and Wiki is on the list. I can guarantee you that. What better, what better place to finally play Zach and Wiki than classic hits gaming. It's definitely on the list, man. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, <laughs> I knew you meant that. Oh, well, so we're heading to the Big Ben. 
good night man sleep well and thank you so much for dropping by classic hits gaming for a bit of pac-man a bit of 80s gaming dying through to play it um you will love it i know i mean i can't believe it's been this long and i still haven't played it So good at trapping me. Ah, oh, they're so fast. And um, I think an interesting thing to point out about Pac-Man is this is a game that predates um, arcade hits like Donkey Kong and Galaga, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I mean, just think of that for a second. Donkey Kong. Like, Donkey Kong. Like, that is insane that that's that's the game where like jump man made his debut which would become mario which would become the super mario series um like donkey kong was pretty much like nintendo's like first like video game arcade game um and pac-man came before donkey kong Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah, the trapped me again. Ah, that was a good run. If I say so myself. You know, Pac-Man proves, without a shadow of a doubt, that the only thing that matters In a game is that it's fun and engaging video games don't need to have high-end graphics right they don't need to be super realistic they don't need to be open world they don't need to have deep complex stories and deep gameplay to be fun and engaging you can have those games absolutely do they enrich the experience absolutely are they enjoyable absolutely but my point which a lot of the time goes over the heads of a lot of people but that's okay but my point is that you can have fun and you can be engaged with a game that has simplistic visuals, simplistic gameplay, and simplistic objectives. A simple game, but a fun game. Easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master, and highly addictive. And I just think that Pac-Man is the essence of that. It's, it's proof. I think modern gaming could learn from the past Modern gaming could learn from classic gaming going forward. I'm not saying that every game has to look like Pac-Man, okay? Or has to be as, as simple as Pac-Man, but there's definitely 
a lot to be learned from the past. You know, and I think developers going forward just 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 kind of like studied these games and focused on, I suppose, like the the, the, the simple pick up and play nature, but the the difficulty in mastering it, therefore making it addictive, and therefore having gamers come back and playing it over and over again. I just think that's something that should be looked at. So yeah, my point again is just a game doesn't have to have super realistic visuals or violence or gore um, or open world or deep complex story to be fun. Pac-Man is fun. It's engaging. Um, it's addictive. Um, and it has such a simplistic um, appearance and simple gameplay but tough to master. Oh, that was close. What is going on? Well, it's got a trophy. 
That was only round two. Oh my god, I got a trophy for clearing round two. That was only round two. Green Gamer. That was only round two. Can you believe it? The Green Gamer, my friend. Welcome back to Classic Hits Gaming. Your home of the greatest decades of gaming. 80s, 90s and noughties. It is a pleasure to continue Classic Hits Gaming with you. With Pac-Man. It doesn't get any more classic or 80s than Pac-Man. Originally released in 1980 in arcades, Pac-Man would become an icon in the gaming industry. How are you doing, my friend? Great to have you in the live stream as always. Hope that you enjoy. Shaft, bro, formerly Green Hill Gaming. Yes, but Green Hill, Green Hill Gaming is no more. It's now Classic Hits Gaming, where I will be only streaming games from the 80s, 90s, and noughties. Glad you're doing good, my friend. And as I said, you're very welcome to the live stream and I hope that you enjoy. So have you played much Pac-Man yourself? One dot up on top. Oh, my God. 
So Pac-Man was the original Ghostbuster. That's a fun piece of trivia to share. Hello, welcome back to Classic Hits Gaming, your home of the three greatest decades of gaming, 80s, 90s and noughties. I am continuing with one of the most legendary games of the 80s, Pac-Man, originally released in 1980 on arcade. Pac-Man will become one of the most iconic video game characters of all time. So it's my absolute pleasure to bring you this game on Classic Hits Gaming. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for supporting Classic Hits Gaming along with everyone that's watching right now. Your support is much appreciated. I hope you're all doing very well and I hope that you enjoy the live stream. You know, it is so refreshing to play a classic game like Pac-Man and know exactly what I'm doing and how to do it. And I'm not confused by any story elements. I'm not confused as of to how do I go over there? How do I get there? Or, you know, it's, it's not really frustrating. You know, the objective is so simple, collect eat all of the dots, avoid the ghosts, make your way to the next maze, you know, each maze will get more difficult, and yeah, it's just, I just like how simple, I like the simplicity, I love the simplicity of a classic game like Pac-Man, where I'm not overburdened by, um, you know, deep and complex gameplay, or deep and complex uh, lore, you know, or anything like that. It's just simple, fun, and addictive. But as I've always, as I keep saying, it's it's also uh, really tough to master. Ha <laughs> ha 
I like to play Dig Dug sometimes. I don't think I ever played that game. I heard of it. Um, that's also a classic game as well, obviously. Um, but I never actually played it. But I, I think it's, it's isn't, it, isn't it nice though to play a classic game and just not be overwhelmed. You know? But it's nice to play a game that has a simplistic objective. Um, and if you stop and think of it, I mean, some of the biggest games of modern gaming are simplistic, have a simplistic objective. Look at Fortnite. I mean, look at Fortnite, Battle Royale. Your objective is to be the last player standing, um, to get a victory royale. You know, I just think games that just have a simplistic objective are some of the most fun and addictive games. You know, I, I, I mean, you can love or hate Fortnite, but Epic Games, um, they're they're using the the blueprint of what made classic games so addictive by sticking to a very straightforward objective. I mean, it's it's so simple, isn't it? Like like, like get a victory royale in Fortnite. Go on, go and do it. It's not so simple when you actually play it, though, is it? You know. So the objective is simple. You know, the gameplay is simple. Um, but going out there and actually doing it, well, that's the challenge. And um, it's this classic game like Pac-Man that. Kind of like give birth to games like that. God, that felt good. Thank 
Thank you. That was so lucky, wasn't it? Again, I love the soundtrack, the sound effects. <laughs> it's not so much a soundtrack, um, you know, but the sound effects. That was actually... Did I die or did I just win? Well, that was too close. For, um, sanity. I wish I actually had a, an actual joystick. Are you absolutely so so? Yeah, I can just see why this game is so addictive.
Now it's going to be an A&E tomorrow morning. Oh, actually, I meant to say fucking um, A. A. But it probably will be an A&E. The girls will be fucking... I don't know. Rocking back and forth saying, I must progress to the next maze. Yeah. But um, I am slowly starting to become addicted to pac -Man. At this point, that Johnny became a pack addict. Change so quickly. Just imagine 
if you were a gamer back in the 80s playing Pac-Man on the arcade and having more money than fucking self-control I mean <laughs> you wouldn't have a penny to your name by the end of the day oh my days the amount of money you'd be putting into the arcade cabinet would be fucking sickening because this game is so bloody addictive and that, that's see that, that's it's a deliberate um it, it, it's deliberate that these arcade games were so addictive and so challenging because they wanted gamers to put their money into the arcade cabinet and to try again and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying to get the high score I mean like this I wasn't paying attention that's my excuse Come on. (laughs) 
What? I changed way too quickly there. Come on. Ridiculous. <laughs> They're so clever. Clever little ghosts. Ah. Okay, this is going to be my last um, playthrough of a uh, Pac-Man in this session in this session there will be multiple sessions of Pac-Man on classic kicks gaming so fear not fear not I'm actually really enjoying playing this as I mentioned earlier I didn't actually grow up in um, like I wasn't alive in 1980 I was born in 1988 so I don't have any memories of playing Pac-Man in the arcade because I didn't play Pac-Man in the arcade I played Pac-Man many, many years later on the, the many, many various ports um, of this game. Um, so I'm not really that familiar with Pac-Man, but um, I'm really enjoying playing it. And this is probably the most I've actually ever played Pac-Man. And I can just, I can just tell why it's so addictive. Like, because I'm, I'm becoming addicted to Pac-Man. Um, and I, I think it's because of what I've been saying a lot now in this live stream. It's because of its, um, its simple pick up and play gameplay but the fact that it's difficult to master it I think that's what makes it addictive a lot of games are like this not just Pac-Man a lot of games are like this Donkey Kong was like this uh, the original Super Mario Bros was like this a lot of games in the 80s had that kind of gameplay because it actually it's what kept gamers coming back you know <laughs>
And boost. Ah, oh, they're so quick and ten thirty. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the live stream, and that's gonna do it for um, session one of my Pac-Man live gameplay. A lot more Pac-Man to look forward to in Classic Hits Gaming. It's just fantastic to continue Classic Hits Gaming uh, by going back to the 80s, um, arguably um, the, 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 the birth place um, of gaming as we know it today. It was during the 80s that the most iconic video game characters that we all know and love today were born. So yeah, an absolute pleasure to go back to the 80s and and bring, you know, Pac-Man and you know put Pac-Man onto the spotlight. Stream and play a bit of Pac-Man. Um, absolute pleasure. I mean, you know, the 80s were a time where you know, well, to be honest with you, the 80s, 90s, and noughties were all the time where gaming was just a lot more simple, a lot more fun, uh, and a lot more engaging. Um, but particularly in the 80s, because the games were just so simplistic and so basic, the objective was so easy to understand, um, you know, easy to pick up and play, very difficult to master. That's what made these games addictive. That's what made these games engaging and fun. So, yeah. Um, it's just a pleasure to be able to stream Pac-Man with all of you lovely people and, also, and I'll, as always thank you so much for supporting Classic It's Gaming I will see you next time on Classic It's Gaming for some more Pac-Man thank you for watching, see you next time